year you have so many events for us that we can look forward to and then enjoy this weekend. I mean, you constantly have things for us to do. We do uh, from the arts education at the center with all of the classes that happen here, the gallery walks to shows in the Ellen Eccles Theater. There is always something going on here and something that you would enjoy. You just have to find out about it. <laughs> That's right. You have to find out about it. And she's going to tell you how, but like, you will travel to San Francisco and New York and do all these great things. But right here in Cache Valley, you bring the same talent. To us. We do. We, we, we do a series of concerts. We bring in, you know, you know, what's hot and new in the dance world. We try to bring in some of the best of the best. And we work with a lot of the organizations that are in Utah to help bring these artists to mm -hmm. Utah. Um, this season we'll be bringing in Fiddler on the Roof on April 19th and 20th. It's our big Broadway show for the year. Uh, it's going to be a fantastic show. It's going to be a big show. Um, we really look forward to the Broadway shows because the community really responds to it. But there's so many other wonderful things that end up on our season schedule. If the Broadway is what draws you in, hopefully you'll come and try that and then experience something else while you're here. Exactly. So beyond the shows, you have the classes like you mentioned. And that is something that offers so many different variety of things like we've mentioned ceramics before uh, over the course of so much time you you have fun things for young and old we do um, you know from unicorn theater they do theater classes uh, for children 5 to 11 they also do pillow productions that anyone can come to on Saturdays we have ceramics classes for all ages and all skills so whether you know what you're doing or you just want to be left alone to make your masterpiece you can do it uh, we also have uh, art instruction with EA art school and so no matter what age you are you know they they provide classes based on the hour and depending on what your interests are they kind of cater whatever you're trying to learn with the instructors mm -hmm. so we have EA art school upstairs we also have Valley Dance Ensemble Valley Dance Ensemble um, has you know been a resident uh, here in the theater. We we love to work with them. They perform in the Ellen Eccles Theater in April as well. They'll be following Fiddler on the Roof, uh, but they do a wonderful job. Uh, they're our local modern dance company, uh, but we really are you know thrilled that we have a, 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 a dance company that caters company classes to the community and so you know they have three and four year olds five and six year olds and then they have you know ladies of all ages doing African drumming like African dance so it's it's a lot of fun they, they really do a good job with it and uh, the the seasons show that their, their annual show really kind of ties it all together well with all of that it must have piqued your interest with all of that and I'm sure you did not mention everything but you've you've actually mentioned a couple things that I wasn't aware of so I'm anxious to find out more yep but there's something for everyone yep. uh, you know whether you're interested in what's happening in the mansion or in the Bullen Center we have lots of classes and then we do also have the gallery walk in April we have the gallery walk it's going to be on Friday April 8th and so we'll be sending out information for businesses if they'd like to participate and uh, if you have, if you're an artist looking for a location give us a call well, see, and all of those things offer this community effort that you go, that's involving everybody. So you've got the citizens walking around checking out businesses that are being participants in it, and then the artists as well. It's a very feel-good night because uh, people get to see what's being created. I mean, not all of the artists are always local, but there's a, it's just a, it's amazing how much talent we have here, not only from the performance side of things, but to the visual art side of things. And it, it can be overwhelming, but you know, it's really enjoyable if you just get out and, you know, casually go out for a night and do a little stroll and, and then you can see what else everybody else is doing, uh, participate, you know, and, and help our local businesses. And so it's a lot of fun. Absolutely. And then also enjoy dinner while you're at downtown and just have a great night. So despite the weather, because we've had some cold weather, we've had rainy weather, we've had really nice, but despite you can enjoy the evening. Yep, a lot of the things are inside, but yep, there's always a place you can duck into if you need to. Yeah. So Okay, so great fun gallery walk, events at the center and the mansion, and then of course your performances. Yep. All, uh, all can be found out about online through calendar and ticket spot, so tell me about that. So yes, we don't charge for if you, do, you purchase tickets online. Uh, it's cashearts.org. You can go there any time of day or night, middle of the night if you'd like, uh, or you can stop by your ticket office. Uh, it's 43 South Main. Uh, we're right in the heart of downtown. Uh, we really kind of feel like we add a lot to this downtown area and we'd love to see if you want to stroll down here and buy some tickets or register for a class. Well you really do make it easy in your t ticket office. You know it's just you dash in front, you know, keep park right there for that five minutes, dash in, buy your tickets and then you're out and on the way. Yep, we have parking in the back too if you can't park right out front and 20 minute parking so we try to make it easy. Okay, well let's make it easy and let's all have fun this year with the Center of the Arts. So much fun, so, such great activity. Thank you so much. Thank you, Amanda.